How's it going, everybody? My name is May, and uh, today we're going to take a little bit of a look at what's going on in this new Dislight trailer. Um, I have yet to see anything of this. This is just a pure reaction. Uh, I just got home like 20 minutes ago from work, and then they released it. It's 4 a.m., 4.01 a.m. actually, at the time of recording. And yeah, let's go ahead and just see it. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. Have a good time. Yamato. My doll. Another one for my collection. A little creepy. You see, with these dolls to keep me company. Even when you're not with me, I won't be alone anymore. So, come play with me. You're a little spooky girl. When have you finished hiding? If you're finished, don't look behind you. No. If you become my dog, then you'll never be scared again. Yamato. My doll. Another one for my collection. So pretty. It looks just like me. That was creepy. Uh, not really much to talk about there. Um, dolls are like my number one fear, for those who didn't know. Um, somebody asked me the other day. Could not remember for the life of me. But, yeah, that just reawakened that. Um, that's creepy. Also, do -do -do. Like me. nope. Want it paused. Uh, is, that's not the same character, is it? Just, yeah, that's a different character. That's the other character that they're going to release, too, I think. So, um, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's a good trailer. Four minutes ago, like I said. Let's see. Well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good story. Hopefully, they have some good stuff intertwined with it. But, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at Yuhime as well. Go ahead and take a little look at that. While we're here, the stage is set. My dolls are ready for their curtain. From what I read on Reddit, she's wild. She's wild. Hmm. Is there a new assignment? <laughs> Who's touching me? I friggin' love her hair the one thing i love about her the dolls don't love that that much but all right here we go uh deals damage to one enemy based on attack gains immunity when having hell's hands deals extra damage based on attack at the cost of hell's hands stacks of all hell's hands stacks so sounds like she could stack herself uh or probably like 100 percent attack or 50 percent attack or something uh, deals damage to one enemy. Not bad. Also gains immunity. Death Gate. This is her second ability. Deals damage to all enemies based on attack. Inflicts defense down when having Hell's Hands. Deals extra damage based on attack at the cost of one Hell's Hands stack. And I'm pretty sure she could use that indefinitely. There's no cooldown, if I'm not mistaken, right? From what I've read on Reddit. Just so everybody's aware, the S2 could be used indefinitely. Um, however, I think you have to have the Hell's Hand. So here's the Hell's Hand. Uh, extends all of Yuhime's buffs at the start of her turn, stackable with a limit. So probably stacks up to like 5 or, heck, maybe you can go up to 15, kind of like um, Ahmed. But yeah, uh, here's her S3, or her ability 3, whatever it's called. Um, deals damage to all 
enemies two times based on attack. The first hit inflicts diseased. The second hit reduces a certain percentage of the enemy's max HP before dealing damage. Then gains a certain number of Hell's Hand stack based on the total number of enemy debuffs. Um, let's see. When you ascend it with all the little ascending dudes... Um, <laughs> Deals damage to all enemies two times based on attack. The fewer the enemies, the higher the damage. The first hit inflicts disease. Okay, so the same thing is up here. Other than, um, yeah, if you're just dealing with two guys, you're going to do a lot more damage. So that sounds like... Uh, sounds like she's going to be pretty useful for bosses. I mean, heck, inflicts disease. Um, defense down, and what was the first one? Attack down? Or was does she give herself attack up? Hold on. Oh, just immunity. Yeah, so she can grant herself immunity. She can inflict defense down, inflict diseased. And uh, she extends all of her buffs, so you can pretty much buff her almost indefinitely. This, She's wild, man. She's wild. Let's look at the little last little victory thing. And that'll be it. Don't try to Oh, she's not here. Okay, so basically with her S3, I didn't, I didn't see it. Oh man, hold on, we missed a part. That's a pretty cool ability. I'm not gonna lie, that's a, <laughs> that's awesome. So, um, basically what I'm going for here is she's gonna be good against. What is she going to be good against? You're not going to want to use her. So she's Sun, but you're not going to want to use her on a... What's his name? Snake Boy. I have, I have it pulled up here. Apep. I could not think of that for the life of me. You're not going to want to use her on Apep. Um, she's probably going to be good for like climbing and stuff like that, like the towers and stuff. Um, I might be pretty good at Desolate Lands now that I think about it against the uh, Shadowfire. Um, also because she extends buffs, I don't know if that affects, um, it's either Shadow Gale or Shadow Stream, where when you get more buffs, you kind of make it go, you know, the thing. I think it's Shadow Gale. Um, so she's definitely most likely in my eyes right now, a Desolate Lands character to use, Esper to use. Um, the Ritual right now, because Apep is the only one you're going to use the Inferno Espers on, Probably you don't want to do the double hits. Um, that's just too much. Too much, too risky. We don't do the double hits. Even though it does do defense down, it's probably still not worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking Tower Desolate Lands for uh, Yuhime. I could be proven wrong in the future. That's just my thought. These are my two cents. She looks absolutely amazing. Love the design. Don't like the dolls. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming with me on this little adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>